It's not the same. based in Bradford, West Yorkshire. Big thank you to all of you who subscribed to this channel. As I promised you, I will show you everything that you need to know about your Nissan Navara. Now, I've been asked on a couple of a question, a couple of occasions on the, this particular video, on this particular title, because if you get it wrong, it means you're doing the whole job again because the vehicle won't run right. So it's abso absolutely pivotal that fitting a flywheel and clutch, you get it absolutely 100% right. Because, like I said, if you get it wrong, you'll be doing it again and it costs you more money. Right, come and have a look at this. I've just done an engine rebuild on a vehicle that's to, uh, recently going to Poland. Now, what you'll notice, at the back of the crankshaft, there's a location dowel there, protruding. Yeah? And on the flywheel, there, there's an arrow. That arrow must align, there's a hole basically in between them bolt holes for that, for that pin. Now if you, if you don't fit that correctly and you fit it one way wrong, you'll be taking the engine out because it, it, it uh, basically puts it into limp mode and gives you a fault code, a crankshaft camshaft relation fault. So what I do, be doubly sure, bit of a Tipex pen and where the spigot bush is, I put a line in between the two bolts yeah so I'll quickly show you there's the arrow <laughs> and as you can see Let's get the torch. The arrow aligns with that white mark. So now I can put my bolts in. Now, now the torque setting for these bolts using a, a T55 male torque. like so slightly out so there we go let's double check in not the lines up Right. Now the torque setting for these bolts is 113 newton meters. Now I'm not going to talk them and bore you to death with the video. I'm just going to quickly show you. These are new snap-on ones. They're only tiny and light, but by it they're powerful. Right, so all these are the um, pressure plate bolts. There's nine in total. Now the clutch will only fit one way. So you might have three attempts. Like I say, there's quite a few people that have been caught out with this. Right, clutch. LUK clutch, best clutch you can use, heavy duty, most long lasting that I've ever used. Pressure plate, clutch, yep. The extra protruding bit fits in there like so. Yeah. And what you'll notice, you don't need a clutch aligning tool because the pressure plate fits perfectly in with the friction plate. And there you go, you see that? You just make sure that it's equal all the way around. <laughs> oh, lucky me, it's gone straight in. 
So, now it's a two stage torque setting is this. So your first setting is 15 Newton meters and that's to make sure that it sits flushly. Remember what I said, first torque setting 15 newton meters, second torque setting 25 newton meters. Now if you do it too tight, you can burn the friction plate out. So it's imperative that you use the torque settings that we've given you. Again, I'm not going to talk them right now, I'm going to, I don't want to bore you to death with the videos. Just quick and simple, that's what it's all about, giving you a bit of advice on trying to save your money. So, remember. 15 newton meters all the way around equally in like triangular motion and final setting 25 newton meters right release bearing how to fit the release bearing this is the fork that the uh, release bearing sits on and it sits like so When it wants to play. There you go, that's how it sits. Oops. You always throw stuff about when I'm doing a bloody video. There you go. So it sits like that. Like that. Yeah? And that's spring loaded and it fits on the ball like that on your gearbox. But you need to get this middle bit out now because that's the old release bearing. Sit in the rice like so. I use an old bearing to tap it out. The old one that's the new one Understood. Quite simple, that's how you do it. Now, I'll keep releasing videos and I'll teach you every time we get the opportunity to teach you something new. Um, can I share anything anything more with you in this video? Oh, oh yes, we've got some upcoming videos of a Nissan Qashqai engine and the MP300 engine, so that's going to be interesting. Now, subscribe to this channel, find us on Facebook and support our Nissan Snap Timing J Group. Thank you, bye. Thank <laughs> you.